Amigos de Mike Kinsella, soy Leonardo Aguilar y les quería avisar que este 24 de agosto voy a estar en el Ontario Convention Center. Así que no se lo pierdan, me voy a ver muy bien y les va a gustar mucho el show. Hi, we're here with Ashley Aguilar, our spring cover girl. Okay, so Leonardo Aguilar just got here and the girls are getting ready for their photo shoot. And we're not gonna lie, we got a little nervous. <laughs> Could it? Why? <laughs> oh, because he's handsome. Oh my God. I know how to use a camera, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> pues amigos, soy Leonardo Aguilar y me acabo de robar la cámara de... Sean Maria. De Sean Maria. <laughs> 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 Ustedes las pasan Yo soy. Ah, mucho gusto. Rocío. Las que traigo esta mano se me cayó la guarita. Mucho gusto, Sean Maria. Encantada, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, bienvenidas. Gracias. 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 I'm Esmeralda. Um, I'm Zaira, and today we're going to interview you, Leonardo. We know your name is Leonardo Aguilar, but do you have your middle name? All right, so my middle name is actually a really cool story, right? So when I was born, like the magnificent time in this world when I was born, and we're going to go to uh, Registro Civil to get my name, like, officially named, right? Yeah. And my grandfather calls her, he's like, just to let you know, I don't have any grandson uh, named Antonio. My mother knew exactly what he wanted, so he named me Leonardo Antonio Aguilar. Where were you born? And I was born in Mexico City, Hospital Ancres. Room 204. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just Mexico City. When is your birthday? Like, what birthday? birthday. It's on uh, August 15th. And she already knew that, but... <laughs> so... Yeah, so my birthday's coming up. What are you gonna do for your birthday? Mm, um, we're gonna be in Zacatecas on my birthday. Because my grandma's birthday is the day after that. She's gonna have a party, so we're going there, and then they're probably gonna like we're gonna mix the parties probably. I don't usually have parties for my birthday since I don't like to dance, so I don't like parties. I'll go to them, right? But no. So you go to parties, but you don't dance. I really get invited to parties. So. Well, I mean, if you were so. invited to a party. You wouldn't dance at all? No. So have you ever tried learning how to dance? Well, it's not that about learning. It's like, but no, I just don't like to dance. All right, next question. <laughs> What's your favorite song of um, Gerardo? Gerardo, no, I'm going to tell you my favorite song from the chapel. So my favorite song from the chapel, I honestly do not have any favorite song from him because, I mean, since I'm a really big fan of his, I'm only a really big fan of two people, which is my grandfather and the chapel. I like all of the songs, basically. Like, I really like my grandfather, not just because he was my grandfather. Like, like, I respect him not only because what he did as an artist, but what he did as a person, what he, how he treated his family, how he treated his fans, treated his horses, treated everybody, right? I strongly believe in karma, and he, since he treated everyone really well and worked very hard, that's why they liked him, and that's why he achieved what he achieved. So, do you think by that it's a big responsibility to be an Aguilar? Yeah, I mean, I have the last name that gives him a huge responsibility but also backs me up to continue with the legacy, with the legacy of great artists. Right? It's a big, big, big responsibility, right? Because people are expecting a lot from you. My grandfather came set the bar up here, so they're not, people are not expecting us to start down here. People are expecting us to start right here. And that's really difficult. Um, right? How old are you going to be this year? How old? Mm -hmm. 15. I, everyone thinks I'm older than what I really am. You do look older. I do. Yeah. It's because he's yeah. And beautiful. What about your dad? What kind of relationship do you have in terms of music and then aside from music? Well, we're a very close family. Like the Aguilars, every, everyone, like with my uncles and everything, uh, we're very close. When it comes down to work, like he even tells us, like, starting right now, I'm not your dad anymore. We start treating him like an artist. So we start um, respecting his time, respecting his space when he's in show mode, right? Or interview mode or photo shoot mode. By that, with your father and your grandfather, do you hope to be like them someday? Of course. I mean, people who are two-faced are annoying as hell. That's why I really like my grandfather, because he was this, the same person wherever he was. And that's what people liked about him. So yeah, I would like to be like him. Since we're talking about family, being a brother, how does it feel? I thought you were going to say something like about being a dad. I was like, man. No. <laughs> so, well, how do I feel about being a brother? Just straight out, sisters are annoying. But, but I think I'm a good brother. Like, if they are annoying me, I get angry. Right? Like, I need to calm down. But no, I'm a cool guy. Other than Angela, do you have another sister? I have Angela, right? You guys know Angela. And uh, there's Annalise. And your older brother is how old? 21. What is his name? Emiliano. Since you live with a bunch of girls, have they ever dressed you up? <laughs> 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 I was like 10. So then we're finished with this question. <laughs> okay, so since we're on the topic of ed education, um, how do you manage education and singing? School and singing? Well, what I do is I take a hybrid program, so I take three classes at school and the rest at home. I mean, I'm used to uh, 
having to work two times as hard as other students. You know, he, he's, my dad has always told us that we're going to have it harder than everyone else because not only do we have to go to school and get good grades, but also have a career and be really good at that as well. Did you choose to go into the singing career or did you kind of feel that you had to follow on those steps because of your father and your grandfather? I chose singing because this is what I like. You know, my, my parents would have uh, supported me and helped me with anything I wanted to do. How has social media helped your career? So far. Well, I mean, social media makes it really easy to spread news, and I really like that. I mean, social networking changed the industry. What would you say to other teens that want to enter the music world? Stick to a genre or stick to something. It doesn't only apply to music, it applies to everything. No nada más hagan algo para satisfacer los gustos de otras personas. Siempre es algo porque lo quieres hacer, no nada más por este para hacer a otras personas felices. Siempre haz las cosas para ser feliz tú mismo. Zyra Yasmin. I'm Esmeralda Gintero. Thank you, Leonardo, for the interview. Today. Thank you. Yeah, and we'll see you August 24th, Sunday, at MyKinseLive.com Expo.